Let us see the sum of a rational and an irrational number. So let us take an example. Say a rational number, the simplest rational number is 2 or one of the simplest. And another irrational number is root 2. So let us see what is it like adding these two numbers. So it is 2 plus root 2. 2 plus root 2 is 2 plus root 2 because we cannot really add the square root of 2. The square root of 2 is 1.414.2135 and so on. It doesn't just stop. So we cannot add 2 and a number that doesn't stop because we don't know what is it after 5. So therefore, what we can conclude from this is, and also if we add, what we may get is 3.4142135 and so on. So even after adding, it is still an irrational number. So what we can conclude from this is the sum of rational and an irrational number is always irrational. Let us quickly take another case. Say we need to add 3 and root 3. So here 3 is rational and root 3 is irrational. So we have 3 plus root 3, which actually is 3 plus root 3, but we can go ahead and find the square root of 3, which is again nothing but 1.732050807 and so on. This doesn't stop either. So we know that 3 plus 1 is 4, so we can write 4.732050. 807 and so on. So this is still an irrational number. So again it proves that a sum of a rational and an irrational number is an irrational number.